Hey guys, Kirk here and welcome to another episode. So today we'll be reviewing the Fujifilm Instax Link Wide Printer. If you know Fujifilm, you know Fujifilm makes a lot of cameras, a lot of lenses, but they also make a lot of instant film printing cameras. You know the ones where you take the pictures and they come out of the top? Just like how Polaroid makes them? Fujifilm makes a lot of those too. My lady has a lot of those printers, but I've never really been quite a fan of the quality of the photos that come out of those things. So for someone like me, I thought, you know what would be great? Something that could print the photos that I've taken elsewhere. You could take them on your cell phone, you can take them on like a camera like what I'm using to record this video. And then you can connect it to this and then print them out. So let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Good solid box. Got a dock. Oh, not so much a dock, but this is the stand. The printer will sit right on top of this thing and you can have the printer, just like in this photo, sit vertically instead of laying down horizontally if that's what you prefer. Right here, we have a micro USB cable. It comes out of the box. Okay, so here's the printer, right in the middle of this lot. And then, let's see, you got some paperwork and a manual. So we're just gonna put that aside. And I just like to open up stuff, figure it out while I go. Okay, so just so you know, so here's the printer. Looks really nice. I, I accidentally printed, pressed it right now. It looks like it has some battery life in it. I guess if it doesn't, you should probably charge it before use. But I think, let's, let's try to use it. Um, just so you know, this printer doesn't come with any film at all. So if you're gonna, if you plan on using it the same day you pick it up, you might want to pick up some film. I got this one on Amazon, and they have a bundle. I, mean, I guess you're not saving that much, but it came with the bundle with this 10 pack of film. But this 10 pack gives you an additional 10. So there's 20, there's 20 in here. So we're gonna need to open this up too, since we're gonna test the print as well. Go in the box, and you got two packets in there. So look in the printer, we got the loading. This is where the film comes out of the top once it's printed. You got the power button right here. Right at the bottom you got the micro USB port where the charging end goes. And uh, yeah, oh, there's a spot here for the lanyard. There's a lanyard right here, it fell out and I didn't see it. But anyway, lanyard spot, okay. So this is how it sits on the dock. There's nothing that connects it. Um, there's no connecting ports or anything like that. It just sits on it, but it sits in, it's enough to stand on its own. If you want to just leave it out there for display on your table or something. Looks really cool. I'll we'll just have that sit there. Okay. The packaging for the uh, film. There's a spot to tear right here on the top of the little place where you can tear it. That was a terrible tear. <laughs> That was not a good tear, whatever. Okay, so you take this, take it out, take it out of the packaging. Here it is. You have this little yellow spot here. And if I remember correctly, ah, ah. You slide the button across, it opens the back. There's the back. And there's a yellow line out here. So you line that up, you line that yellow line up with the cartridge yellow line facing you. Go ahead and slam that in. Oh. I don't know if you need power to, for it to do this, but it automatically takes out the protective skin that covers the first film, so. There you go. You know what? This camera, like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it, it stands on its own without the stand. I don't know what the stand would be for. It's kind of flat at the bottom. You don't really need the stand, I guess, but I mean, I'll use it because I'm gonna knock it over. I always knock everything over. Now I'm in the Google Play Store. I, I already searched this up to make sure I could find it. So I put in Fuji Instax printer and there's several of these, but you wanna make sure that you get the one for the correct printer. This one's for the wide, so I'm gonna click the wide one. I already downloaded it, just so I'm gonna launch it right now. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, Device not connected, so I'm probably, I'd click that. Oh, it worked, okay. I'm gonna hope 
that turning on the printer is gonna have enough power to stay on. If you turn it on, it, turn, it lights up different colors. There it is, I think that's it right there, the Instax. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to that. Pairing fail, restart printer and connect again. Oh no. Oh, okay, this time, hmm. this time it did that thing we didn't do before. I guess we're, we're good then. Interesting. I wonder why it failed the first time. So if you look in the top left corner, it looks like we're connected to the application. Or we're connected to the printer from the application. You see, you got some options, edible print template. You can put some words in there. I know you can put a QR code and you can put the QR code on the photo, on top of the photo. And when you scan it with your phone, you can come up with some message or something cool like that. I'll have to definitely take a look into that. I wanna try that later. But right now, just as a first, first go, we're just gonna go with a simple print. So I'm gonna, looks like it goes with my camera roll. So we're gonna pick this photo. This is from when me and Trish went to Iceland. I could resize it, look at that. I can shrink it down and there's gonna be a bunch of white. Oh, that's good. It stretches out so that it fills up the whole frame. You don't want any white spots, I guess. Unless you wanna edit that in. So I'm just gonna slide this. Yes, the photo when we first took it, it was off. Because I was taking a selfie with a camera that didn't have a, did it have a flip screen? I think it had a flip screen. I don't know why we're off, but <laughs> these are winter horses. They uh, they live out there all the time in the cold and they grow really thick fur. So they stay out there for a while. And uh, in the summer they cut their hair and they're good. They never have to really come in. So I'm gonna have to pre go ahead and press this, uh, this printer button at the bottom. And then I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'm gonna bring the printer up here. And then we're gonna print. I'm gonna hit the print button on the screen. Now printing. You can print up to the number of film sheets remaining. And it goes up, the animation goes up, and it's supposed to come out of the printer. I, I thought it would come out at the same time. I guess it's gonna take a few seconds. Huh? There it goes, it's coming out the top of this thing. Okay, the black side comes out the front. If you turn it around, you can see the... Uh... Okay, now you can see it's it's developing. It's pretty quick. Usually you have to like, remember the old school way? You had to like fan this to print out, but no, it's just it's just popping up. It's, it's slowly developing. It's really cool. Look at this, look at this sign right here. It says, don't put in mouth. Someone must have put it in their mouth for this warning to have to been put on the back of this film. I'm gonna put the original right here and then here's the printed photo. It's a little light and it's not as sharp, but overall I still think it's really good and I still like it a lot. So I'm pretty happy with the results. So that is it guys. If you're interested, take a look at this online. I'll put a link in the description if you want to purchase this exact one and you can click one of the options for the black color one there's a black insects printer and there's also this bundled one which comes with the extra film and uh yeah leave a comment below if you have any questions take it easy